you have to say you have those kind of guys outside that will make no, 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 Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Aiz in Neil Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. So there's been a whole lot of chaos happening both in the level one and the level two house. Yes, guys, but I'm going to start with the one happening or that happened in the level one house. Now, let's start with Shex. Like, I don't get it. What is actually wrong or what is going on in Shex's head? But let me real quick. Is Bella not her own person? I mean, does Bella not have the right to dance with whomever she chooses to dance? Isn't that the main like reason for being in the Big Brother Niger house? You know, to communicate, to interact with other people, to basically have fun in as much as you are being competitive and all that. Like, I don't get it. So um, while they were having, you know, this talk in the living room, so Shags brings up the talk that if he gets evicted from the house, that one of them, you know, will move to his babe. And that is, of course, Bella. And they were like, no, I mean, that's not going to happen. And he went on to say, I mean, Dotun will actually move on to Bella. And he goes on to cite the incident that happened during the Saturday night party last week, saying that um, Dotun came to him to like want to dance with Bella, you know, ask for his permission to dance with Bella and all that. And after that, I think he didn't really like um, agree to it. Then Ilebaye, yes, guys, Ilebaye causing Wahala here and there, level one and level two houses. So Ilabayo comes to him, takes Bella away from him, you know, um, drags Bella to go dance with Dotun. Now, Shex was like, how did Ilabayo know that Dotun already asked for permission to dance with Bella if Dotun did not go to tell Ilabayo? Yes, guys. And he just went off and Dotun was like, where is this coming from? Like, if you, we had an issue or you had an issue with me, like, couldn't you have told me? Like, Dutton was really pissed about this whole, you know, situation. And while that was happening... There was also the fight, you know, or the argument that happened between Deji, Doyen, and Chichi. Yes, guys, where Deji was like, I mean, that Doyen, you know, um, said something. Is it Doyen or Chichi that said something about, you know, the fact that the guys in the house are weaker than the girls because Doyen was advising Chichi, you know, not to like dance with or to check on Deji or something like that. It's really confusing to be honest because they were all talking almost at the same time. Yes, guys. And Deji, you know, found fault with what Doyin said. We Doyin later apologized because she was like, that's not what she meant. She did not mean it in that kind of way. But she, you know, is sorry, you know, if he actually got offended with what she said. Because basically what she was tra trying to say was like, the ladies in the house have more head for alcohol than the guys. And Deji was talking about something about being a giver and a receiver. Now that aside, you know, Shakes went on talking about a violation, this violation that in my head, I'm like, I'm not getting it. What is the violation inside here? How did Dotun violate anybody inside here? People of God, but ask me real quick. Maybe I know they understand this London English from our London boy, because right now I'm a bit confused. What did Dotun do wrong? I mean, if it's because of dancing with Bella, I mean, how is this since last week, Saturday, we are in Friday now. How is this an issue? To be honest, I feel um, Shex is coming off as um, insecure. I mean, this one thing we kind of like, you know, um, we're angry with Beauty about. Even though Beauty's own, she extended it. We're like, why is Beauty insecure, marking territory with Groovy? Isn't it the same thing Shex is doing right now? And the, the annoying thing here is Bella is actually buying into it. In my head, I'm like, babe, wise up. You are meant to enjoy yourself. Don't let this guy isolate you from every other person in the house. Because the truth is, just like Ebuka said, they are all there for their own. I mean, look at Lika Rose and Emmanuel. Despite the fact that, okay, Lika Rose and Emmanuel were in a relationship in the house, Lika Rose mingled with other guys. I mean, basically, I feel this guy wants to turn, you know, um, 
Bella to a Lilo. And we all know what happened to Lilo, you know, when the eviction and nominations started coming. Anyways, aside from that, there was also a minor basketball between Chomsey and Doreen. Yes, guys. So while they were also in the living room, Chomsey said something along the lines of calling um, Doreen fake or something like that. And Doreen called her aside, you know, trying to let her know what you said is not cool. Why is it that whenever there's a conversation, you know, you just start putting my name into it. And Chomsey was like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to like have your back. And Doreen was like, no, that's not true. Doreen went on to say the fact that I told myself and I said that I'm not going to be having any issues or arguing with you and Chichi. I mean, that is my decision because the truth is you guys are not really worth my time. I'm like, ouch. Anyways, the funniest thing happened. Doyin, um, Chomsey did not like reply back to Doyin. Rather, she went out going to Adekule to say, oh, Adekule, Doyin is your friend, right? Go and talk to her. Go and talk to her because she's your friend. I'm like, girl, this girl was in your face like a few minutes ago. Why can't you talk to her yourself? Like you are Miss Eloquent, then talk to Doyin. Like, I know Doyin messes up. And I wish she actually will stop throwing herself at those guys. I'm going to tell you why pretty soon. But aside from that, I love the fact that she can actually, you know, be that one man mopo, speak up for herself. That is a very strong mentality. And it will take her fine life, basically. Now, that being said, but still on Doyin. Yes, guys. So Doyin was the topic of Dotun and Deji's conversation. Now, based off of what happened between Doyin, you know, and Deji earlier on. So Deji was telling Do about Doyin saying that um during the pool party yesterday he noticed that like Doyin was giving him an attitude you know doesn't want to dance with him and all that now when he wanted to go dance with Doyin remember that incident I told you that Doyin ran away in my previous video yes guys so apparently Deji wanted to dance with Doyin but because Doyin ran away he ended up dancing with you know Allison so it wasn't actually Allison he wanted to dance with and he doesn't understand you know that kind of behavior yes guys and and the two and two now started telling Deji everything on almost everything that Doyin told him in private. Yes, guys. Now, remember that Doyin and the, uh, what's his name? Dotun are like besties in the house. Doyin, Alison, Adekule, and Dotun, they are like the four musketeers. Yes, guys, in that house. Now, I was really surprised, seriously, that Dotun could talk like that. He started saying that I know Doyin, you know, I know she likes you. I know she was angry, you know, that um you danced with every other girl before dancing with her, that he could understand it. That Doyin, you know, told him when um Deji was dancing with Chichi in the pool, that Doyin told him that look at your friend embarrassing her you know, himself. Like, why would he be embarrassing himself with everything he was doing with Chichi in the pool? Yes, guys. And I didn't quite understand why he felt the need to say that. Now, I know I like the tune. I actually thought he was, you know, quiet and all that. But ever since they moved into that, that multicolored house, the colorful house, I'm, I'm, I've started to see some aspects of him I'd never really got to see in the other white and black house. It may seem as though... Dotun can't stand on his own. It may seem as though Dotun is also a gossip. Like this season, we are seeing a lot of the guys gossip. Ever since they entered that um, colorful house, we've seen a lot of them gossip. Now, I hand it over to Hermes. Hermes and Wisdom, Hermes and Sense are like, you know, twins. Because the way he was cautioning or, you know, schooling, um, what's her name, Doin about, you know, the walkings of the house. And I love all the advice, you know, he was giving to Doin like it's a whole house of commotion in the level one house yes guys and what's with what's his name shakes talking about oh he's not gonna want a spin-off show with him and bella like guy what is your problem you're still in that house this is just week three and you're already talking about th something that might happen or might not happen several weeks later like shakes fans you guys should just talk to your guy, however you guys are going to do it. Because right now, he's making it look, he's making himself look some kind of way at this point. Anyways, away from that, let's move over to the level two house. So, this morning, Amaka was not really happy with Fina because Groovy spent the night on Fina's bed. Now, remember that last night, both of them talked about their feelings for Groovy and all that. Even though Groovy never said anything, you know, Groovy just listened to them and then went to bed and all that. So, Amaka felt betrayed. 
you know, with the fact that Fina spent the night on Groovy's bed. Yes, guys. And kind of like decided not to like talk to Fina. And she went on to te- tell Ilebaye and all that. Groovy even went ahead to have a talk with, you know, Amaka. And Amaka said, you know what? I feel like Fina genuinely likes you and all that crap she was saying. And for Fina, Fina thinks, you know, she's embarrassed to go talk to Amaka because she feels like all these things were cruise, you know, and Ilebaye actually advised um, Amaka not to let a man come between the both of them. Even at this time, as at the time I'm recording, Sha, both of them are kind of like cool because um, Amaka was like, oh, Fina, I'm hungry. And Fina was like, um, eat something light now. So after the presentation, I can make a goosey and everybody will eat and all that. So I think both of them are cool. But what I want to actually point out here is they should leave Groovy alone. Leave Groovy, even if you want man, knowing that his babe was disqualified a week ago, it's not even up to a week, and you know the bond that they have. I think the best thing or the best way to go about it is be that show that he can cry on. Like, all this aggressive takeover, I don't understand. Like, these women, I understand, though, I mean, modern woman and all that, but at least still, you know, apply some decorum. Like, seriously, I don't get it. Let you just leave Groovy for us. I beg go. On that note, I say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams.